So it's a Friday night, we've finished work. The time is 10 past six and we're heading up into the Shropshire Hills. And the purpose of tonight's video, can you camp with budget gear? Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to Dave Outdoors. And a Shropshire lad. <laughs> and Lexi and Lana. Yeah, Shropshire lass. Shropshire lass, lass plus, mate. plus friend. Oh, friend. Plus. So we've made it to one of the summits in the Shropshire Hills then. Ah, beautiful. Cheeky Friday night camp after work as well. Anyway, to start off this video then, the first bit of budget gear I want to show you that I've got my hands on is a new tent. And it's from a company called White Hills. So it's a dome tent. So without further ado, let's get it up. So it comes in a decent sized stuff sack, compression straps with it as well. And what you will get in the pack is a good set of half decent tent pegs as well. Quite sturdy, very strong. You will get your set of poles as well. And also you get your inner and your outer. The only bad thing about this tent so far is you have to pop the inner up first. And in a bit of a rainstorm, that's not gonna be a good idea. But the weather's glorious tonight. Let's get it up. The tent that is. So that's it all pegged out. And you can kind of get the gist what it's gonna turn out like with all these clips. And the end of the poles just sit in the tabs here. there's one hoop we put another one over the other way so that's all the inner popped up as you can see it's quite meshy here so there's a good amount of ventilation and it's solid material here we've also got a couple of tabs here and that's for another little straight line pole it goes straight across before we do that though let's just admire this view As I keep saying, Shropshire Hills, hidden gem. So not only am I joined by a Shropshire lad, I'm joined by a Shropshire lass and Lana. And they're in the nature high cloud peak too tonight. Similar sort of design to this one. Anyway, let's get it finished and I'll crack open my second IPA. And then all you have to do to clip the outer on is literally click it together with the clips provided in each corner. Solid. So there we go. That's the tent all set up. All the guy lines on. I just took me time putting the guy lines on as well. And I haven't done any ordinary knot. I've took me time and I've done a nice decent knot on it. God knows what it's called, but it looks good. So you've got two ventilation uh, ports either side, so one there and one round the other side. So as you can see if it's in the winter as well you can take that off and have it shut, which it will velcro, but because it's warm tonight I'm going to be keeping that open. Without further ado, let's show you inside. One thing I do love about this tent, you can roll half of the door back but then you can roll all of it back as well. So you just take the peg out and roll it back. Another good thing I love about this tent. So you can just have it as a netting door or you can have it netting and fabric. So if I was to close this up now, it's all see-through. You get a good bit of ventilation as well. So you can do that on both sides, keep the door open. And that's why I've pitched it like this because in the morning, I'm going to open both doors and have my sunrise just over here. So, trying out a new air bed tonight. It is the X-Bed Air Mat Light Plus 5. So it's pretty much exactly the same as the X-Bed Down Mat that I have. 
Unfortunately, this one doesn't have any downing. It's a little bit lighter as well. Summer, spring, autumn use. Let's get it up. The air mat, that is. Just look how spacious that is. And bear in mind my quilt, I can tuck that right under. And yes, I am maybe a little bit from the edge there, but look, the def this is definitely a two person tent. Two doors, that's my view. I'm not gonna big it up too much because I haven't had a night's sleep in it yet, but in the morning I'll give you a sit rep on it, but it looks a solid tent. Excuse the mess, but there's two good sized vestibules. Happy chappy. Not sure if I've mentioned it yet though. The tent weighs around 2.7 kilograms or 2.8. Can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put it just on the screen here. But if you don't mind carrying that weight, I mean, for two years I had a Banshee 200, which is around 2.4 kilogram, I think. It's just an extra 300, 400 grams more, but with plenty more space where you can sit up as well. Chuffed a bits with it. So we've got a Shropshire Lass and Lana in the Nature Hike Cloud Peak too. And they're gonna be taking the views of the sunset tonight over this beautiful, iconic Shropshire Hill. Look at this though, all the way round. Unfortunately, a Shropshire lad's come out in his cheap tent tonight because the girls have got his expensive tent. Let's have a look. What crap you're in tonight, Mon? Oh, just this bloody acte thing. I'm oh, on. you're joking. It'll do. <laughs> Where is it, mate? Oh. So the next bit of kit I want to show you is this decent little cook kit I've got from Gonex. So it is just a frying pan and a saucepan. Comes in this uh, nice durable little case, and that's what it is. So it comes with, so it comes with a lid. comes with a little wooden spatula and your little saucepan and your frying pan. It does come with other bits as well, which I'll pop on the screen now. I've left them out though, because I won't use them. So the saucepan, you can have a litre of water in. Some decent handles as well on it as well. Plastic coated on the ends. And it'll be the same with the frying pan as well. I was gonna bring some sausages but I've got to be back early doors. So unfortunately, I won't be using them to cook sausages in. So the next bit of budget kit is from the lovely Hannah at the Fell store. And it's the Van Gogh burner. Let's have a look. So there we go. That's the Van Gogh burner. Extends out. Let's see what it looks like on the gas canister. So that's what it looks like. Quite impressive. Pretty lightweight too. I'll put some specs on the screen now for it. Available at the Feld store. So the next bit of budget kit was this little piezo igniter. It was off AliExpress. I think it comes to literally about two quid, that's it. But it's just sparked this up first time. Let's have a look. So I've used the Gonex frying pan as a bit of a stand because I forgot my stand for the gas canister and then we're just boiling half a litre of water because tonight's choice for tea something new from the fell store it is the fire pot chicken keema curry new out we'll eat it see what it's like and I'll let you know the past couple of fire pots haven't been that good really apart from the barbecue pulled pork which was really nice it's probably the best one that they do along with the spicy pork noodles but yeah, keen to try this, so I'll let you know what it's like. So there you go, half a litre of water, just starting to boil, and now it's just gone two and a half minutes. So yeah, I think that'll do me. Well, it's time to tuck into tea. Let's have a look inside first, shall we? Give that a mix up. Fair play fire pot. I think you've nailed it this time. Oh, look what 
I find? Shout out Mr. Got to Get Outdoors. A Shropshire lad moaning about the weight of his rucksack. But here's why. Evening all. Right, tonight we have a bottle of Shiraz, as you do. And uh, Wednesday day with cranberries. And I think that's a rule with um, pineapple and scotch oat cakes. So it's a cheese and wine evening on the Stretton Hills. Right, the wind has picked up quite considerably now. So, next purchase I want to show you quickly before I tuck myself in. Is this. Now, some of you are probably going to have a bit of a, a dab here. But this is the, as you saw earlier, the Exped Air Map Light. 30 quid I gave for that. It's brand new and it was off the Facebook marketplace. So you've just got to do a little bit of digging and you'll find the right item at the right price. As we're in summer now, this thing, I can't rate it enough. And this is the Ice Flame Quilt. Eight degree comfort, five degree limit. But a Shropshire lad, he's had his down into the minus figures and he's kept lovely and warm. And that's combined though with the Thermarest X Therm. But this tent, from White Hills, I'm impressed with it, and it'll be something me and my little one will use quite a lot. Um, what have you done with your teddy, Captain Monk? I don't know. Oh, he's going up there! Oh, he's in his hammock. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh! Well, we can't park there, mate. Just look at the amount of space I've got. So I'm going to keep the door open tonight and then I've just got the mesh. So hopefully my sunrise will just be beaming through at about quarter to five-ish, something like that. But anyway, that's it from me and I'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Well, the wind got up in the night and it still is a little bit or it's calmed down, shall I say. But the tent stood well really impressed with it so I've got a little bit of condensation on the inside but you'll get that anyway so from both the vents it does offer quite a bit of air coming through and I can feel it when I put my hand up into there but look at this for a view this morning right time to get a brew on So I must admit, those pots and pans from Gonex for a bit of budget gear, they're pretty good and I'm impressed. For a long distance hike though, so something like the Heart of Wales Line Trail, would I take it? Possibly not. I'd probably stick to my lightweight kit that I've got, as we all know. On the, on the trail, those extra grams count. But for somewhere like this, a local overnighter, yeah, I'd definitely take it. And what a beautiful morning it is. So Lexi and Lana have just took their tent down. We're just leaving ours up to dry. Look at that for a view. So I have left a trace for the time being, but they're gonna get collected and they're gonna be put in the bag. And as our farmer boy, Steve knows, we will look after his spot up here. So just before we disappear then, I just want to uh, big up this tent. It got to about 15 mile an hour wind last night, I'd say. And that thing held it perfect. Really impressed with it. I'll leave a link in the description to the tent and to their website, White Hills Tent. Just give you a quick look at this vestibule size as well so you can kind of gauge. And it was lovely just laying there this morning watching the sunrise so it's a 3000 millimeter hydrostatic head material and it took a bit of a pounding last night in the wind and I'm very impressed 
very structural and held its own. Shout out White Hills. So a very well thought out tent. There are just a couple of criticisms with it and that's the weight. But again, if you're one that doesn't mind carrying the weight, 2.7 kg, same as the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2, I believe. And the pack is also quite bulky. But again, it's nothing different to the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 at a fraction of the cost of that as well. So yeah, go and check them out and go and see what they're like. But for me, this will probably be coming with me on a couple more adventures this year. So there we go, that's where I was last night. And as always, leave no shears. Nothing's left. Beer cans are in there, you might be able to see. We're good to go. We wave goodbye to the Shropshire Hills. This is where we were. We leave no shears. <laughs> So as we walk along the gravel track then, that's where we were last night. And it's been a great camp. So there's some great budget gear there. I'll leave links in the description to them. Yes, you do have to look around for them, but you can get some brand new bargains, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree. You've just got to take a look for them. As I said, there'll be links in the description. Thanks ever so much for watching. And me and the he'll see you on another non-lockdown adventure with me, Dave Outdoors. <laughs>